Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. I hope my voice coming good and clear. Uh, today our topic will talk about a little bit of politics and uh, I will try to go live on air again maybe later. Is my voice coming good? Just a reminder in case I lose my connection because sometime it happened uh, because I live in Somalia. Um, so in case you have a difficulty um, to see the screen, just refresh your page. Usually it come back in a few seconds. <clears throat> uh, in the front of me in the screen, we have the picture of Hagia Sophia, our church. And actually, uh, the reason I'm talking about it uh, because if you remember when Erdogan, he took Hagia Sophia or he decided to steal it again, I mean, this time is officially to turn to be a mosque. <clears throat> Am I losing internet? Is my connection loose? I have not. <clears throat> anyway, uh, when Erdogan, he took the church or he decided to take it and he converted it into uh, a mosque, there is something I did not really like at all from Trump. In the same day, the same moment, a few hours after, a Trump he posted uh, a comment about the food he ate. I mean, the whole world is talking about Aya Sophia, and Trump, he acted as if he heard nothing. He saw nothing. He knew nothing. So Trump, he was really soft with Turkey for some reason which I don't really understand. Now, I don't know if the rain sound is... Does this sound good, guys? Anyway, so <clears throat> I was really upset at that time. Still, I wanted really a Trump to win the election. Don't take me wrong. But I was really upset about how he ignored totally Hagia Sophia, as if nothing totally happened. At the same time, I was surprised that the one we don't like, he asked uh, Trump, how come Trump, he don't force Erdogan to reverse <clears throat> his, you know, his order to take the church? And actually, if you search on the internet, you will find uh, that really uh, Biden, he did say that. Now, all of us, we knew through history <clears throat> from the previous administration that Biden, he don't like Turkey and he don't like Erdogan. And if you search in the news now, you will see many who they are having a problem with the filthy Erdogan are excited to see Biden is winning the election because it looks like he is the one who is going to be the president. Until now, we, we don't know for sure, but look like it. So there is a bad news in one side. You know, I like a Trump agenda in general, but Trump agenda was not always good in other side. As an example, he did nothing for the Armenian. He was just watching. He did not support them. He did not give them help. The same as the Russian they were watching, at least, you know, from the outside. Uh, Biden have a very strong relationship against, uh, let us say, with the friends who they are against Turkey. This is why if you search the news, you will find that the Greek people, they are excited that Trump is leaving and Biden is coming. So, Yes, I am. I don't like really Biden. I believe he don't fit for the job. I don't like the one she is his vice president at, at all. You know, this woman, she is very creepy for me. Uh, but you never know. You know, if you if you see my video, which I made two days ago, three days ago, two days ago. Yeah, two days ago, before the election, actually, three days. <clears throat> I said, you never know. You know, when uh, John McCain, he went for election, I made video to support John McCain against uh, Obama. And I was so upset because Obama, he won the election. But when time went, 
time or a moment came and I said, thank you, God, that John McCain did not win the election. You can go and watch my video, which I made just a few days ago before the election. Now, why I said, thank you, God, that McCain did not win the election. Because McCain, he wanted to attack Syria, destroy the Assad regime, which is secular, <clears throat> and replace it with the Mujahideen. And that means all the Christians in Syria will be eliminated. And this guy, he don't care. Obama, who is supposedly a Muslim, uh, if you go right now and search, you will find that the Pentagon during the time of Obama was out of any mission. Why? Because he was bombing Taliban nonstop. While Trump is negotiating now with Taliban nonstop. So, like, there is a lot of irony. You know, I don't like Obama, I don't like Biden, I don't support them, I did not vote for them, and I will never vote for them. But there's things we need to remember. I don't know if they cheated or not, it's possible, you know, why not? I mean, it's possible that somebody cheated, why not? It's possible. But that will not change anything unless you prove it, and then you fix it. Otherwise, it's useless. Uh, so I see in some bad news, some good news. And it's not totally negative. You see, during the time Biden was a vice president was very, you know, he, he have his own, let us say, uh, point of view against Turkey, which I like very much. Right? <clears throat> Well, you know, the, the problem is Trump, he was focusing too much on Israel, right? So he support Israel. Like anything have to do with Israel, he is right away there. But when it's come to the Greek people, you know, Cyprus, uh, the Christians in Syria, the Christians in, uh, uh, in Armenia, he was watching. He did nothing. Anything to do with Turkey, he did nothing. You know, I heard that he is moving... The, the American base from uh, uh, from Turkey to, to Greece, which is very good, to Crete, which is very good. But he did not open his mouth in anything against Erdogan. You know, he made just a few statements when Erdogan, he arrested a Christian priest. And since then, that's it. So, uh, No, you will be involved with Turkey because Turkey is in an important location and Turkey is causing a lot of troubles. A lot of trouble to everybody, to Europe. You see the one who is saying we don't, we will not involve with Turkey. No, you are already involved with Turkey. Already France, they banned the group which support by, uh, uh, Erdogan from France. It's called the Wild Wolf uh, or something like that. And those, they attack a church, Armenian church in France, you know, they get inside the church, they kick the chairs and etc. shouting Allahu Akbar, uh, Viva Erdogan, so France, they banned him. Uh, so, I hope that if Biden became the president, he will bunch those idiots. And why not? You know, uh, history... Uh, I learned I learned from history that sometimes what you think it's bad for you it can turn to be good. Now somebody saying somebody is challenging me to debate me face to face. I debate only foot to foot. If that guy is in the size of my foot, let him call me face to face. I mean all those Muslim cowards they claim they want to debate me, but they will debate me only face to face because they knew that will not happen. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I don't take me wrong. I'm not saying I like Biden. I said Biden. Biden is the part. You know those people. They, they they do politics. He wanted the Muslims to vote for him in Michigan, and it worked. You know. But anyway, they will work. They will vote for him because the majority of those who call the Muslims in Michigan they are Shia, and Shia support Hezbollah, and Hezbollah they hate Biden. You know that he put sanctions in Iran. Iran is suffocating. You know they can't even breathe. Actually, if if uh, if Trump he won the election, 
Iran will submit to Trump. But now they think they are breeding. But I don't think that will work. I think Biden will continue in what Trump he did. Let us see. Because he noticed it's working. You know, he might speak against it in public, etc. But in reality, you will see. You know, there's a lot of influence. You know, those who they are in office, they don't make decisions by their own. Most of them. You know, there is a lot of influence behind the scene. They say things in TV, but they do the opposite in reality. The same as Obama. Obama, he went to Egypt, Islam is peace, etc. And then he started bombing Taliban like crazy. He killed, actually, Obama, he killed more than 300,000 of Taliban. To the point, the Pentagon was out of animation. And you can go and search it right now, you know. That Pentagon in the time of Obama was out of animation because they are bombing nonstop. Uh... <clears throat> Which mean now we will have Obama back in the office, you know, you will have Biden in the front, but Obama will be involved and the gang, all the gang, you know. I mean, this is how the system is. This is how USA is, what you can do. You know, if you ask me, I'm against having parties. I'm against having Republican or Democrat because having those parties making uh, uniting the front and people, they vote regardless if the guy is good or not. You know, you vote for your party. I vote for my party. If I am in charge, I will destroy the system of parties. And then people for election, when they vote, they vote for individuals. There's no party. You know, uh, Mr. X, I, 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 I saw it. I saw it. Okay, he want to debate me. Okay, say to him, Christian Prince, he accepted face to face. Oh, what he need to do, get his face in the computer and call me. One more time you post it, I will block you. Okay, X. We got it, we got it. The guy, he challenged me, no problem. And we are scared. I mean, I'm terrified now. Farouk, you wanna debate me, Fufu? We have one Fifi, now we have two Fifi? <laughs> and what he will debate me about, that the black dog is a, is a, is a, is a, is a, is a, the devil? <laughs> or what he will debate me about, that when you say Allah, Akbar, Shaitan, fault, we agree. <laughs> You win, you win. Shaitan fought with Allah when when you say Allah Akbar. I mean, even Shaitan, he make fun of your God. He fought at him. And your prophet is the one saying that. Should I fart too? I mean, why you bring humiliation to yourself? We're not talking about your prophet. Here we go. We, get, we gave him five fingers in his ass. You want to debate me about what? About Shaitan take hair from your ass when you pray? Okay, you win. You are lucky, you know, Shaitan, he play with your ass when you go in the bathroom, as Muhammad said. Shaitan, he take hair from your ass when you pray. I mean, your ass is screwed, man. Thank God I'm not a Muslim. All right? And a Muslim saying to me, you laugh like the devil. Look like you're an expert. Hmm. Your prophet, he says that the, the devil command him to do good. Do you want to see it? What's wrong with the devil in Islam? Islam is the religion worship the devil. Let me show you. Here we go. Even your prophet, he received command not from God. We are typing in English. Hold on. <coughs> Why? But I'm typing there. على شروطهم. I don't know what's wrong with this website. Something wrong. I'm searching for the thing. Uh, let me refresh again. Uh, I don't know. Something wrong with this uh, website. Maybe they are fixing it. It says internal uh, uh, server error occurred. Okay. Maybe they will fix it later. Anyway, so your prophet, he said clearly that shaitan, he command him to do good. So why you are saying to me, I love like shaitan? If your prophet himself, he was commanded by the devil. Right? Hmm. Uh, invent Imam Murrah again. Ah, you know Imam Murrah. I like Imam Murrah. You know the funny about Muslim, they say to me, do you remember this, this uh, Fifi? He says, 
the quotation in the beginning of, of Christian Prince book cannot be found anywhere. We cannot find it. And then after a few days, we get him busted. So he cannot find Imam Murray. You can, Muslim, you cannot find anything. Can you find the Quran of Uthman? <laughs> Imam Murray. <laughs> I mean, you know, a Muslim, a Muslim person who is trying to debate about his religion, he's like a, like a guy, he is sitting in a place. Hmm? And then you say to him, uh, by, by the way, uh, your wife is cheating on you. Okay. Uh, that your kids are not yours. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and uh, uh, your daughter, she is working as a striptease. Uh, okay. And until now, he's not upset. Hmm? And then you say to him, she is dating his, and she is sleeping with the guy. His name is Juju. No, his name is not Juju. She is sleeping with Fufu and Mumu and Dudu and Kuku and Tutu. And I got you busted. I mean, I just said to you, your wife, she is sleeping with everybody in the town. You are not upset. Your daughter is a striptease, is sleeping around. You do not get upset. Your kids are not yours. You do not get upset. And now I mentioned the name according to you is wrong. You're upset. That's what make you wrong, upset. Okay. So this is what you are saying to me. Thank you very much. Silly people. Very silly and very stupid. Like he is not upset his wife sleeping with who? He's upset with the name. She's not sleeping with this guy. She's sleeping with the other guy. I mean, why you are lying about it? Hello? <laughs> Iran and China are celebrating. Well, you know, my, my friend, we will see who is going to celebrate. I, I don't think uh, Biden will change much of uh, against Iran uh, because he noticed it's working. So he will take the victory of Trump and he will claim it to himself. Just wait. Anyway, uh, forget about the Mohammedan. They are silly people. You know, this is a religion. I mean, if you want to debate, you see, I'm, I'm really bored of debating those kids. Because I don't find somebody even he can talk to me. I mean, they are a bunch of kids. That's why I'm not even uh, opening my, pal uh, my 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 Skype. I, I want a shake. I want somebody he knew what he's talking about. Those are a bunch of kids, YouTubers. They have no idea what they are. If you ask any Muslim, who is Allah? They don't know. Who is Allah? They have no idea. They don't know. Do it, do they even know? No. They have no idea. You will see a Muslim saying, uh, the Bible written by John. John who? Luke, Luke who? Mark, Mark who? Okay, hold on. You idiot. If you open the book of John, you will see right away he's speaking about himself. And there is a speaking about him, his, with, with the name of his father and the name of his brother. And you will see the whole story. But I want to ask you, if we open the Quran, Muhammad who? There is no single place in the Quran that says where Muhammad was born, what Muhammad first and last name, because Muhammad is not a name. You know, the Quran sometimes call him Muhammad, sometimes call him uh, Ahmad. All right. So Muhammad who? We don't know. Right. Yeah, we want, we want, you know, we have, we have thousands of videos of Muslim calling. You can watch them. We want somebody he knew what he is talking about. And if we say something, we can take it, uh, you know, seriously. The rest are a bunch of kids. They can say whatever they want, you know. And when you are no one, you say whatever you want. Uh, I don't agree with this hadith. Uh, who, who are you? You know, who is going to talk to me, Abbas? <laughs> uh, Bart... Uh, her man, no, they cannot get that part from him because no, actually, it's even the name you mentioned, this Bart, he said there's no documented book and authentic as the Bible, no book in the world, no book in the world, even this guy. So even there, they cannot go. You know, uh, we have thousands and thousands of manuscript, and actually, we keep discovering more and more manuscript, manuscript, and they confirm what we have. And actually, even the stupid Quran confirm what we have. Even the stupid Quran confirm what we have. Isn't it the Quran says confirming what they have between their hands? Tons of times. Okay, you confirm 
What is with us? How? If it's corrupt. Hmm? How you confirm it? Do you see it? This is a stupid Quran in front of your eyes. It says when scriptures came to them from Allah confirming what they have. This is your stupid translation, not my translation. Uh, this is why I don't find any Muslim in, in any level of honor. First of all, you will notice that Muslim when they speak about the religion, they have no honesty. So it's like a waste of time to debate a Muslim who is not honest. The only honest Muslim is somebody who is from ISIS. He will, you will find an ISIS person is more honest than all the less. The, the Abdul are not Muslims actually. All the Abduls, as many Christians too, they are not Christian, they are Christian by name. But the majority of the Abdul are zero Islam. They are, they are, they are Islam free. You will see a girl, she is wearing a skirt in the size of one inch. And her breast is coming out, her nipples is like, uh, uh, like an elephant. Uh, uh, no, it's coming out. So that's the second you say Muhammad, she get upset. I mean, look at you, right? They speak too much about Islam. Go like uh, like now, Mich uh, Michigan, Michigan. There's a lot of Muslims, supposedly. Uh, night club, short skirt, hashish, you name it. Say Muhammad, they get upset. Say drugs, they are there. Say sleep around, they are number one. Uh, okay. Uh, you got a point, sister. Brother and sister, we are Muslim. And in America, you see women, they are getting raped. And why they are getting raped? Because they wear third skirt. Look, so you see, what you expect? The culture of dummies. Women, they get raped because they are wearing short skirt. Well, women are getting raped in Pakistan. In Bangladesh, it doesn't matter where you go in Saudi Arabia, and they are not wearing a skirt at all. <laughs> but this is the culture of pigs. This guy is a pig. He is saying to you, he is an animal. If you see a woman with short skirt, he turn into an animal. He is a he's a mule. You know, when a mule he see a female donkey, he jump on her. Why? Because he's a donkey. So they teach their children not to be not to behave as a human. Teach them it's okay if a woman she is wearing a skirt. I commanded you. It's not your fault, brother. See, this is a stupidity, and this is why we are, we are laughing at you. This is why we laugh at Islam, and this is why you Muslim laugh at Islam too. I mean, if you ask now who who want Islam to be implemented in in Islamic country, you will find zero Muslim. All of them they are hypocrites. Ask yourself why Islam is not practiced in Egypt. If I go right now and type. Billy dancing in Egypt. Oh boy. Drugs in Egypt. Oh boy. Sex party in Egypt. Oh boy. What about Erdogan? We are talking about Erdogan. Huh? Erdogan who recite the Quran. Alhamdulillah, Aman, Rabbi Aman. Muhammad, Hamaru Sakran. Huh? If we go right now to YouTube and we see the land of Erdogan, the land of uh, the Muslim Brotherhood. You know, this is Erdogan, supposed to, right? Okay, the guy who recites Quran, Aman Rabbi Aman, Muhammad like Miswan, he is Wahid Hayawan. Okay, and then, let us type in YouTube, Turkish. I'm not going to look for a prostitution. Oh, you know what? I'm going to look for Islamic. Islamic TV station, hold on. Islamic TV. Remember, this is Islamic TV. I'm not going to, I showed you this many times before. This is Islamic TV in, in Turkey. This is what? This is Islamic Dawah, not like my, you know, my page. I mean, look, look at my page. Uh, I mean, most of them, they are dudes, you know, with big beard and, you know, I don't get like the pleasure uh, to have like, look at this guy. I want to open TV like this. Oh boy, Aman Rabbi Aman. Oh boy, oh man. This is Islamic Dawah TV. A lot of people will convert. You know, I mean, look at this. Adnan Oktar, ah, this is a news. Hold on, Adnan Oktar. Yeah, 
This is your Islamic TV, and look, this is a this is the hijab in Turkey. Oh boy, I like this hijab. Oof, man. So anyway, I mean, they they have big mouth. They speak about religion. They are too much into religion. Erdogan is as a person who love Allah. He's the one to be the caliphate. But women have no skirt in his country. Alcohol is everywhere. Prostitution is number one income for the country. Tourism and sex sexism is, is is the business. But when they when they speak, he is in prison. Yeah, because he spoke against Erdogan. Uh, we all of us we knew. He is supporter of Golan. You know the the teacher of uh, Erdogan. They accuse him of uh, human trafficking. It might be true. It might be false. We don't know. But. It was, it's possible just because he's against Erdogan, he speak against Erdogan, so they want to put him in jail. Anyway, I would love to have a TV station like this. I would change, it, might change my topic. I mean, forget about the guy in the left. I don't want to see a beard. Oh boy. I want to hire like those, you know. Oh, those are the... Actually, if I have a TV station like this, Islamic TV stations like this, I will get a lot of support. I mean, so you see, they speak too much about religion, and they are religious. But you, when you go on reality, those people, they have nothing to do with anything. I mean, even their religion, they have nothing to do with it. Music, Muhammad, he says, the one who play music, Allah will make him a pig and a monkey. Okay, so what we do now? We play music then. <laughs> you know, I mean, haram, music is haram, brother. Music is haram. Okay, music is haram. Okay, so what? So what is this? If you type belly dancey, what do you see? What do you see? Who is the master of belly dancing? Forget about belly dancing. If we go to the conservative land, the Muslim conservative land, where women wearing burqa twenty four hours seven days a week, brother, what we will see, brother? Oh, brother, what is this? Oh boy, what is that? Oh boy, oh boy, forget about this one. Yeah, so anyway, I mean, we don't want to corrupt you. Look at this, they are turning it uh, here. Like, this is this is a debate as to as. You see the program here is called As to As Dance. You know, I mean, this is very, very conservative. I mean, and look, they are wearing hijab, by the way. I mean, we have to be honest here. We have to be, I mean, you have to notice now, we are, they are wearing hijab, my brother, you know? I mean, come on. Our women, they, you know, yeah, but they wear hijab, you know? Look, yeah, hijab is there. Hijab never been dropped. Everything else is dropped, but not the hijab, brother. Yeah. Anyway, let's change the topic. So don't go there and don't talk about yourself as religious. You are not religious. You most of you have nothing to do with any religion. You know, you are just, uh, let us say, a crazy person who feel offended for saying the truth but you have no religion none of you have a religion a bunch of liars according to Islam TV is haram which means forbidden music is haram alcohol is haram perfume is haram uh, your prophet he says if a woman she put a perfume and walk by she is a whore you find me number one customers for the French perfume is the Gulf countries. The funny, they said they want to boycott, boy, boycott, not girl cut, boycott the French people. Like, boycott them. Stop drinking their whiskey. You would die second day. What you would do without their whiskey and wine? Anyway, so uh, they have big mouth. And look, all of those who they are defending Islam, they live in Europe, which means they took the passport of England or France or etc. And in the same time, the Quran says in chapter 5, verse 51, take not Christians and Jews as a friends or a protectors, and the one who take them, he's one of them. So according to the Quran, you are apostate. You took an oath in the Quran, even if you are saying you did taqiyya, the Quran is so clear. You take them as a friend, you pay them tax, you are one of them. You are a kafir. Why you don't do hijra? You know, ISIS they open doors for you to come, but you did not show up because you are a coward, potato. Anyway, so going back to the topic, <clears throat> uh, apostate prophet he have a child. 
That's good. I'm happy for you. Actually, I saw a, a video about Apostate Prophet. I will make a video about it later, maybe. Yeah, uh, he received a letter from Erdogan government. Actually, this is a good news for him because now he can stay in the state officially and he can have a green card. He's wanted, you know, so he can stay. That's a good news. Should not be upset. Anyway, so going back to the topic, when we say there is bad news, I see always sometime in what we think it's bad, it can be good. And, you know, I pray that the Lord, he will make it from the fool smart and from the idiot something good. I don't like Biden. I did not vote for him. I voted for Trump. But I hope he will do better than Trump when it's come to many sensitive issues. Now, liberals are liberals, what you expect. I mean, I'm not expecting much from them, but always they were not good with Erdogan. And this guy, it's time for USA to spank him. So I cannot wait to see a spank is coming to Erdogan heavily. All right. Uh, you know, Trump, you see, Trump, he he being betrayed. You see, that, that this is the issue. I Did you watch the video I made just two days ago? I showed you the wife of McCain. You know, asking people in Arizona, the McCain family and his and the gang of McCain, they spend a lot of money, 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 a lot of money. You see, every day I open YouTube or anything, you will find a thousand advertising for Biden, almost zero advertising for Trump. Money, my friend. And everybody knows it's about brainwash. Most of Americans, they are uh, naive, ignorant. So they demonized this guy. They made him a racist. He hit the black people, etc. Blah blah blah. He put he put the children in cage. And even though the one who put the cage is uh, Obama, <laughs> you know, he banned the Muslim. But the one who banned the Muslim, it was Obama. So, you know, they made him look evil. So, uh, this is how the game work. And the uh, Trump, he actually he knew. I think I believe it strongly. He knew. This is why he fought very hard for the Supreme Court higher. So he can be more strong when things happen like this, because now they are going to go to the Supreme Court mostly to announce who is going to be the president. So we don't know yet what will happen. The only opportunity for our, uh, for uh, for Trump is, uh, uh, you know, uh, is to prove a lot of cheating happen. Uh, otherwise, mostly will not work. You know, if you can prove that they brought a lot of papers or they deleted a lot of papers from the vote, that will help him. Otherwise, it's going not to be, uh, you know, the case. Uh, if Biden wins, the USA is going to be ruined. No, 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 you know, Obama, he was there for eight years. He could not do it. Actually, it might be even for for, for better, you see, because uh if you remember once the Muslim Brotherhood, they won the election in Egypt. Is my voice coming good? Is my internet fine still? Because I see it going up and down in my scale here. I hope I'm not losing in connection. Anyway, so when when the Muslim Brotherhood won the election in Egypt, I was in radio with the, uh, brother Osama Dakto. Osama was very upset. He's an Egyptian, so I understand. Muslim Brotherhood, they win, etc. They will do this, they will do that, they will do, they will do. And then I said to him, I think this is the best thing happened. He said, how? Oh, go watch the radio program. It's still, it's still there in his page. I said, you see, as long Muslims are not ruling, they can claim that they are better. And they can move the crowd. The second you put them in position, the crowd will notice that Muslims are the worst to rule. And I'm talking about Muslims who they are Islamists, you know, who want to make Islamic government. You understand what I'm saying? So look what happened. The Muslim Brotherhood, they took over Egypt one year only. And then 30 million Egyptians went in the street and they spit them out as if they are a gum. And actually, at that time, Obama, he took a side with the Muslim Brotherhood because the plan was to establish Islamic government, Muslim Brotherhood. And they convinced, you know, they convinced the American that if we make Muslim Brotherhood take over, then ISIS, they have no place. Al-Qaeda, you know, those are more moderate. That's a lie. All ISIS are Muslim Brotherhood. All Al-Qaeda are Muslim Brotherhood. So, uh, Muslims are good as long as they are not in the game. 
You know, like when somebody watching a football, hey, you should do that. You should hit him like this. Why you did not jump like that if I am there? Okay, put him there. So as long as he is just the guy behind the microphone talking about do this and do that, you are good. But you want to see how stupid he is? Just put him there. Let him in the field and then everybody will be like, really laughing. So I'm not worried about Islam, by the way, to be successful or anything, because the second you put Islam in that place, the place is ruined. And even if Biden will ruin, as you said, four years, that is even for our benefit. If you notice, actually, right now, even if uh, 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 Trump, he lost, you will notice there is a red wave. New York, the heart of the, uh, of the Democrat, a huge vote this year in New York went Republican. So, uh, so uh, uh, what we are saying, uh, put them there so people, they can spit. They were not there forever. No, you see that the chair in the White House will never stay for anyone forever. You know, this is a chair. People exchange, right? So you want to expose the lies? Give them a chance to be there. <laughs> So I'm not worried about it. Four years, whatever it is, you know, Obama lost for a reason and Trump, he lost for a reason too. Anyway, for me, those things really don't affect me. I'm a person who believe that the Lord is in charge. No man is. And we, you know, we, we, give, uh, we give him a charge in our life and we will be always victorious. No matter who come, no matter who go, People come, I will go, you will go, all of us. The, the Bible says, let the, let the dead bury the dead. Everybody is dead, you know? So uh, I'm not really worried about that. You know, be comfortable, be relaxed, and do what you, do your part. I went, I voted, I did my part, you know? And okay, you know, it, what happened, happened. It is what it is. But however, even the bad can turn good. As I said, when Obama won the election, I was so upset, but... When I saw what what McCain is, that he want to kill all the Christians in Syria just to make the Muslim Brotherhood take over, I said, thank God we have Obama, who is supposedly a Muslim, not McCain, who claimed to be a Christian. You know what I mean? So even when Obama won, it was better. But for me, I, there is no way I would think for a second that Obama is better than McCain. I made a video to support McCain. Maybe you can search it and find it. But time will tell you. And here we go. You know, time will tell again, my friend. And actually, I will not be surprised if a Trump, he make his own party and he come back in the Kemi election. This guy, he can create a party, you know. He have a lot of supporters. He, have a, he created a big movement. And I believe that a Republican Party is very much corrupt, the same as, Repu uh, as the Democrat. Both of them, they are like mafia, you know. Big, I'm talking about the big guys, you know, controlling the crowd, uh, taking business. A guy, he stay as a senator for 20 years, 30 years, 40 years. They never leave until they die. And then they give it to their children. George Bush, the father, George Bush, the son, George Bush, the brother, uh, Kennedy, the father, Kennedy, the son, Kennedy, the sister. Tomorrow, Obama, the wife, Obama, the daughter, etc. You know, it's a business. Uh, uh, Billy Clinton, the husband, Billy Clinton, the wife, Joe Biden, the wife, you know, Joe Biden, I'm Joe Biden, the husband. <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, I'm Joe Biden, husband, you know, so it's a, it's a business. So I hope that Trump, he will start his own party. If Trump, he start a party, the Republican will collapse and a lot of Democrat, they will join him too, you know? And if you ask me, actually, I don't like parties because party is not really a vote, it's that kind of a gang system. And when, it, when the party grow, a lot of corruption will be involved. And always look for the donation, who is donating to you, you know? Uh, usually those big, big, big jobs, there's a lot of money coming to them. And those who donate, they want something in return, nothing for free. Those businessmen, nothing for free, you know? Yeah. Anyway, so I don't want to keep you here for long. Uh, I hope still that uh, Trump will win the election. We never know. It's but, but it might be very hard to, to happen. But it might happen still. It's not final yet. But even if Biden win, there's some positive I see there in the in that uh, in that winning. And actually, this is what happened. You know, uh, Trump he should understand. You know, building the wall make 
many people upset who they are immigrant, especially like Mexican, etc. Uh, the, the, there's many things happen is against him, you know, even though it's not his fault. Like uh, George Fly, uh, Floyd, he died, he was killed. Uh, Black Matter, you know, they've been sponsored by uh, George Soros, etc. Uh, many, many, uh, coronavirus came. I mean, all of those happened in his time, in the year of election. So let us say it was a very bad luck for this man. Everything was against him. Uh, however, he can still come back. He can come back in coming election and he can win, you know, even if he lost now. And actually he can create his own party. I would not be surprised really if he, uh, if he, uh, if he make his own party. And I heard in the news, there's hundreds of thousands of votes are not counted in Michigan. We will see, we don't know. Uh, same, they were trying to do the same in Pennsylvania. We will see, we don't know. Uh, I mean, I believe strongly there is a lot of fraud in this mail thing, you know? Because mail, you know, how you guarantee who is mailing those things? They're nobody. Who, who guarantee that even the post office deliver them? Nobody. Who guarantee that those are not fake papers with the same code? Nobody knows. No, nobody knows. So, uh, you know, vote should happen in person with ID. As simple as that. And that's why you see that those who voted in person are for Trump. Which is strange, right? I mean, how come the vote was so good because everybody in the beginning, they start counting the one who voted in person. Because the result is already there. And then the mail came. And obviously the mail is not trustworthy. So I can say that the, the there is a fraud, you know, most likely in this in this uh, election, big fraud. Uh, but the issue how we can prove it, you see, because most of the fraud happened in areas controlled by uh, Democrat, which means okay. you have you have no authority, you have no authority to control it, you have no authority uh, to uh, uh, to prove it. You have no authority of anything, you know. So what you would do? Nothing. All right. So anyway, I want to say thank you guys for being here. I will try to come later, uh, uh, maybe afternoon if I can come uh, over. And uh, we pray that whatever happened is going to be for the good of all nations. We want peace with everybody. We don't want only America to be great. We want all good nations to be happy, live in peace. Uh, we pray for, for everybody around the world. We pray even for the Muslims to have a better life. You know, even those who hate us. We are Christians. We are not Muslims. We love everyone. And uh, we don't want destruction. But sometimes people, they bring destructions upon themselves. This is what happened always. So if American will bring destruction about themselves, eh, let American choose what they want. You get what you deserve, my friend. So I want to say thank you for being here. Uh, I might come back later if I can or if I could. Don't forget to subscribe. And by the way, thank you for those who they are not supporting us. <laughs> for some reason, nobody is uh, is uh, is helping us. Uh, I mean, we have a lot of subscribers in the Patreon, but I mean, they are just to see the last update. You know, we appreciate those who support us, and we hope. Uh, you will stay with us and uh, um, you understand how important our mission is. Uh, at the same time, if there is a Muslim, he would like to debate me. If you are a big, 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 you know, big, you have to be big. All right. You can make a, a challenge, post it in your Facebook, but don't tell me face to face. The second you say face to face, it's mean you are a coward, you are a liar. You don't want to do it. As simple as that. Face to face, you know, I don't debate face to face. I don't debate shoulder to shoulder. I don't debate, debate bump to bump, foot to foot. We debate in the internet. I'm wearing, you know, like usually I'm wearing my short, but now it's cold. But usually I'm wearing my short, debating you and destroying Allah and what you can do about it. Face to face, first of all, it's not safe to go and debate Muslims. You prove to us that you are a bunch of crazy people who they are crazy about religion. And those who are going to debate us, obviously, they are very religious and they are very violent. I don't want to end in jail for shooting somebody who tried to shoot me. I don't want to do that, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm a person. Uh, yes, I believe that uh, the Lord, he says, uh, the one who hit you in the right cheek, given the other one. But this is a different story. 
the one who will try to shoot me I will make him shish kebab so I don't want to you know I don't want to go in in, in in the level which I don't want here we can do it perfectly I can spank your prophet I can make him shish kebab and you cannot refute me and everybody will laugh at you and the only thing you can do uh, take beer you know go into Islamic countries I will not go I'm not crazy you know and uh, and there is no need people they are looking for my answer not for my face I don't look good anyway I mean actually if people see how I look like uh, they, will, they will run away see now I have 1000 if I turn my camera on man I will not have any even me I will leave I mean the second I see myself in the camera like what is that man <laughs> yeah so all those Muslims who they say they want to debate Christian Prince face to face, they are liars. They don't want to do it. They don't want it to happen. The same as, uh, you know, remember Mimi Hijab? He said they want to debate me. What is the debate? We call. He played for me a video. Did you say that? Did you say that? And what, you know, he said, suckle me. <laughs> what is the debate? He was afraid. He was terrified. They prepared. They are cutting my videos. They play short, little tiny short of my words. This is how terrified they are. I mean, this is a guy who they claim that can debate me. What is he? What is the debate? Never happened. And then we play the, 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 the tape he play. I said to a Muslim woman, suckle me. The filthy woman, she is the one. She said to me, Jesus, he was doing something with his mother. You can watch it. I said, it's the fact, the one who did that, it was your brother, your father, your, your, your prophet. He is the one who said to Muslim woman, suckle me. So they cut my, they cut the video. Say, did you say that? Did you say they have AIDS? Look, what is the debate? So they are cowards. They are very much intimidated. They want to debate you. If you do not know anything about Islam, they will be all over you. You know why? Why they don't take me into surprise like what they did to Apostate Prophet? Let us say they say Fifi want to debate me, and then suddenly Mimi Hijab opened the door. <laughs> don't, don't, don't be, don't, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. I, I want Mimi Hijab to say to me, don't panic. <laughs> All of them are a bunch of kids. They, but there is a hole in the narrative, my friend. There is a hole in the narrative. Actually, the, the hole is not in the narrative. The hole in their head, in their bum, in their ears, in their nose, and they're everywhere. And if they don't, if there is a one place, it does not have a hole yet, I will make it there. Otherwise, debate me, prove me wrong. Coward, they don't dare. The only one who call me is kids. You know? Even when a scholar of them, he call me, we laugh at them. Go, go watch the debate with the Sheikh Abdul Wadud. Sheikh Abdul Wadud. Go watch it. Brother, you have a lot of questions, brother. I think we better we sit for coffee sometime, brother, and you come and visit me in the mosque, brother. I have so you are coming to me to debate me, to say to me, brother, you have a lot of uh, question, brother? What is, the, what is the answer? Brother, you have a lot of question, brother. We challenge Zakir Naik. He says, uh, I made a video about it, posted in Facebook. You have to bring 2,000 people with you to where? To Bangladesh? In which train? Okay, who want to go with me to Bangladesh to debate Zakir Naik? He was in Bangladesh at that time. Hmm? <clears throat> So I will bring with me 2,000 people. Uh, by the way, this is my team, you know, just to let you know. Okay. And now we are in Bangladesh. We are going to uh, debate Zakir Naik, brother. Okay, brother. 2,000 people to debate you. Who are you? And why you need 2,000 people with me? How come Zakir Naik is answering a Muslim, uh, an Indian woman? Why in Islam there is no women? She is a prophet. Brother Sita. They said that they are with him. And actually, they are him. He have a point. In Islam, we have no women here, prophet. And the reason we have no women here, the prophet, because if a woman he became a prophet, they have to leave the congregation. And if they leave the congregation, they have to do to do what we do. And they have to bend over. And that will disturb the believer. Look, and the Muslim like, hey, Allah Akbar, look at this answer. He just said to you, you idiot, that women, she can't be a prophet because if you see her ass, you go crazy. If she bent over, did you hear it? I want her to debate me and tell me that. 
so we can make a movie about it. Or do you remember when they asked him about women, the, the men only have a virgin whore? He said, the brother, uh, the word in the Quran is whore. And a whore is the plural word, which means it's a male and female. So, sister, it's a lie, you will have a, a male whore. What? Male whore? You idiot. This guy don't know Arabic, stupid. The word whore, it says there in the Quran. If you have, if I have my, my book, Six in Allah, you will find right away. It says they did not bleed from losing their virginity. Yet mutahun, and the, the word there is noon and niswa. But because the, the donkey, he did not know, he did not know Arabic. But the Muslim, whatever he say, hey, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, brother, look what the answer, brother. What the answer? The answer is the answer of a donkey. What are you talking about? Look what the verse is saying. How, how the whore became uh, 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 male. Look what the Quran is saying. The whore are male. So you're a scholar, even the one you call him a scholar is a donkey. And why I'm not surprised? I mean, if your scholar is a donkey, what about the followers? And not even a single Muslim, he make a video to say, stupid idiot, Zakarnak, what are you talking about? Because you're a coward, you're liars. Only us, if we say something, you claim it's wrong, you have big mouth. But you Muslims, if you say what you can say, whatever you want, brother, whatever you want, brother, unless you say there is a hole in the narrative, and suddenly your scholar is not a scholar no more. You know, a day before they invited, uh, what's his name? Yasser Qadi. He's a scholar. Brothers, Yasser Qadi, you are more than, uh, uh, there is no need to introduce you. You are like uh, very well known. This is what Mimi Hijab introduced him. Read it, you know, watch it. He prays in him, he's amazing, etc. He visit him, he go and he ask him a question. He go in the car, sit next to him like a cat, like a puppy. So brother, what do you think about America? What do you think about etc. What do you think a Muslim should do? So it's, it's interview of a scholar. Suddenly the guy, he said something they don't like. Suddenly uh, Yasser Qadi is an idiot. Suddenly. Is the rain no noises uh, too much? because it's increasing anyway so this is what you do this is how you are even your scholar if he says something embarrassing you wash your hands from him Ibn Kathir he said Ibn Kathir is, Ibn Kathir is not the prophet okay the prophet said uh, the prophet this is not the prophet said this is a hadith reported from this guy and this guy is very well known not a trustworthy you idiot so he is a trustworthy but you write his hadith I mean look at the stupidity so brother, we have untrustworthy, and he said this in news. So let us print it and publish it. <laughs> so how suddenly, so how he is untrustworthy, and then you write what he said. I mean, who is the stupid here? But now he is untrustworthy because it's embarrassing. People are laughing. You know what I mean? Anytime they see something embarrassing, they say, "Is uh, this person is not trustworthy? Is Muhammad trustworthy?" <laughs> anyway, it's time to go. I said I want to go. Twenty minutes ago, I'm really I hate you all. And this is supposedly a short video of Christian Prince. I will try to make videos like less than fifteen minutes. I want somebody to teach me how to do that. Actually, I think I think the reason I'm not able to make it short is the chat. I should disable this chat. <laughs> I mean, how how I'm going? I want I want to go to school to learn how to make a short video. I mean, this is this is. I said to myself, let me drink my coffee and make short video. I drank my coffee early in the morning, but I'm drinking my coffee again now. Let me make short video for them about the election. And now, for how long we are here? A short video. Oh boy. The reason it's not short because I love to share with you. And I love to to uh, to correct those who need correction. At the same time, we all of us we learn from each other. Sometimes we are wrong too. I mean, nobody is perfect. Nobody say always uh, perfect things. But when it's come to Islam, don't play with me. You can be you can be a person who know about mathematics, engineering, mechanic, mathematics. Like as an example, I'm a Christian brother, and I believe according to Muslim, one plus one plus one is equal to one. <laughs> they ask like, like, why you don't, why you forbid the Christian from learning, uh, from uh, teaching the religion in school? He said, brother, if you have a teacher, he's teaching you that one plus one plus one is equal to one. 
Are you going to allow him to teach math in the school? But what? <laughs> but we don't believe in one plus one plus one. Who is the one who do that? Where do you get this from? In which book? So, stupidity is amazing. It is. And this is why I don't like what happened in this election because you know we are we are not getting really smart people i mean the, the country have 300 million something 40 50 million from the 350 million you got somebody don't remember his name another woman she is always high <laughs> it is there's a, there's genius women there's a smart women get somebody smart get someone edu i mean unbelievable this is america what you can do it's tv station oh what you need to win election is celebrity a bunch of women showing their boobs, singers, uh, Lady Gaga. If Lady Gaga, she said, so for this guy, they will vote for that guy. <laughs> Lady Gaga. Who is going to recommend you? Lady Gaga. Who? Lady Gaga. I mean, even the name is funny. What, what Gaga mean? Sound like oh, oh, poo -poo. You know, in Arabic, like we say, oh, 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 the kid, you know, you want to do oh, oh. So Lady Gaga, brother, she recommended and she uh, she uh, uh, she uh, she took pictures and she came. She joined uh, uh, Biden, you know, recommending Biden. So for sure, you know, so go, go, Prophet go, Lady Gaga. I mean, we have to be honest here. Lady Gaga, man. I mean, can you? Can you, brother? Yeah, Lady Gaga. Oh, anyway, <clears throat> welcome to America, my friend. TV station, a bunch of idiots, celebrities support you, you will become a star. The same way to go down. TV station, some ads, some celebrities speak against you, you will become down in the ground. That's how it is. And <clears throat> uh, we are smarter than this, and we will not let them fool us. So whoever win the election, that will not change anything. That we have a bunch of liars, a bunch of fool trying to take over us. We will not let them do that. We will be always uh, victorious for a very simple reason. We have a name who don't change. We trust him. We don't trust a man. We never put our trust in a man. Never, ever, ever. Men and women, they come and go. They do bad, they do good. They, they, they can be corrupt, they can be decent. But all of us, we do things which is not decent too. Every single of us, every single of us is a sinner. So the one who trusts sinners to redeem his sin is badly fooled. Never invest with the man, invest with the Lord. Names come, names go, his name will stay. And that is the case for all of us. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. And I leave you with the image of Lady Gaga and His Holiness, Joe Biden husband. Thank you. God bless you. And I apologize for my video. It's very short, extremely short today. Take care. Bye-bye. <clears throat>